We've talked about stance, rhythm, and the negative movement of the swing. Next is the positive movement of the swing. The biggest part of the positive movement is to step towards the pitcher. Now there's three S's to remember when it comes to the step. First, you wanna make sure that you're stepping straight at the pitcher. You don't wanna step off to the left or to the right. You wanna be straight at the pitcher. The second S is to be short with your stride. A short stride keeps my eyes at the same level. If I go to a really big stride, all of a sudden I've really dropped my eyes down and that creates more movement and it's harder to see the ball well. Keep that step really short. The last thing is you want that step to be square. You don't want that front foot to open up because now your lower body and your hips have opened up and you lose power. So again, the three S's are straight, short, and square with your step. Now to incorporate what the upper body does on the positive movement. Your hands go back while you step forward. It's called maximum separation and that's what's going to give you power and bat speed throughout your swing. So my hands start here as I step. My hands now go back. They cock slightly back. So imagine that there's a laser on the end of the knob of my bat and right now that laser is pointing towards you. As I make the positive movement, and I step and move my hands back, now that laser is pointing down and back towards the catcher. The reason for that movement is to create bat speed in my swing. It's gonna create that whip effect to really be quick with the barrel coming through the zone. So again, the positive movement is a combination of a good step to the pitcher and taking the hands back so that we've created maximum separation and bat speed and power in our swing.